All right, guys, so we're at the home stretch. We've got the car all ready for clear. We've scuffed up the 4052. The top is wet sanded, ready for clear. I've kind of cleaned everything off and we're ready to spray some top coat. So I'm gonna go over a couple of things with you guys. Um, All right, so first off, we're gonna go over the clear we're gonna be using today. Um, and I've shown this clear before, and this is the Wanda 8100 2K clear, and we're gonna be using their 3093 fast reducer um, for today. Um, I did, I, a lot of debate went into what clear I should use, and at the end of the day, I ended up going with this because I know how to use it, I know, the quality of it and like I didn't want to risk putting a clear on here or having some kind of uh, adverse effect or something that I'm just not familiar with happen on this car so I wanted to make sure to go with something I'm familiar with and that I know how to work with and that's why I went with this. This is fairly inexpensive clear but I've had amazing results especially after you buff it it looks you know, you can get it to look like glass, and it lasts a really long time, <clears throat> even when left out in the elements, as well as sticking really good to our Createx uh, whole shebang here. So that's kind of why I went with this. I, I almost went with a PPG clear, then I was looking at Tamco clears, and at the end of the day, I was just like, I don't want something to happen, and then not know how to fix it, or not be able to fix it, because I used some other clear that I'm not familiar with. So I just ended up going with the one that I know how to use that's local to me and that I can find all the time. And you know, if I need help with, I could go and ask somebody and they'll kind of, you know, help me a little bit. I didn't want to go with something that I'm just gonna have to spend emails or, you know, have to repaint a part of the car. At this point with the amount of work that goes in, I can't, um, it's just not wise to have something go wrong. So. Again, I'm just using these because I'm familiar with them. I know it'll last and it's pretty good clear and it'll look great. So that's what we're gonna be using. All right, and to go along with that clear, I'm gonna be using my Segola 4600 Extreme to lay the clear on the car. Um, I've used and I've shown this gun multiple times. They were kind enough to send this over a couple years ago, but again, I would just, this is like one amazing gun. I just keep cleaning it and it just keeps spraying. Um, really perfect, really good, really nice, good, clear results. Um, so yeah, I, this, uh, it's the 4600 DVR clear um, from Segola. Works really good. Um, I'll try to find a link to it and put it down there if you're really interested in it, as well as the clear. Um, but all that being said, uh, what I plan to do today is we're gonna lay a nice light coat, um, but in that light coat, we're gonna throw in some flake. Um, so we're gonna throw in the lightning blood flake from Bidspade. So I was, again, a lot of debate went into if I should put flake on the car or not. And uh, this flake right here, which goes from like a copper um, to kind of a greenish uh, tone, um, I thought it would look really good, especially over the white areas and some of the art. This is some of their uh, kind of like a transparent flake, so it doesn't really leave a bunch of little black dots or anything like that when the light's not shining on it. It kind of clears up into the clear, so it's just sparkle. So all you get to see is a little sparkle anywhere where the sun hits. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing is laying a really nice light coat um, maybe a couple light coats with the flake um, all over the vehicle. Then we'll come back and build up three or four coats um, using the, the 2K clear on its own to really give the car um, a nice shine. Um, then we're going to come back and buff it, and I'm going to kind of show you guys why we buff it and what that helps get rid of. So, anyway, let's lay the first couple coats on here, then I'll show you guys what I'm looking for before I spray another coat and continue on.
right guys, so as you can see, we have the car all cleared up here and now it's time to polish it. So even though I used almost two gallons worth, I used about a gallon and three quarters of a gallon um, to clear up the car. I did about two coats of flake and then three coats of clear over the flake um, just to try to bury it. So I did two um, kind of like lighter coats and then I did one really heavy coat at the end. All in all, it's pretty smooth, it's pretty shiny. Um, but the reason we polish is not only to get rid of any little bit of orange peel and imperfections, but also to provide the paint um, with a protective and hard layer. Uh, so once we actually polish, it'll be really nice and smooth, and then we'll wax it, which will give it a nice, nice, really smooth and durable finish over the top. Um, so you want to make sure to always buff it and, and polish it. And unfortunately, that means more sanding. So from here, I've talked about this before, and it's using 1000 grit. Let me get them out here. We go through all the steps here. So we have 1000 grit, 1200 grit, 1500 grit, 2000 grit, and then we have 2500 right here 2500 grit and then 3000 grit um, that will wet sand the entire car with and by the time we're done hitting it with the 3000 and again we're not trying to do a heavy sand or nothing we're just going to kind of go lightly with the 1000 grit and then you know lightly with the 1200 and 1500 and you know so on and so forth um, but we do want to remove any imperfections um, if you have a run or you know some kind of spot or something it helps to have a block right so if you have even these kind of sanding blocks kind of help i would watch out for these though but um uh, my dura block is not here uh, but the, the dura blocks are really good they also have like vinyl blocks nowadays um, which are really really flat having one of those helps you also have to be careful with those as you could uh, make um you know run through the paint in certain spots when you're doing this you want to be careful around all the edges right we, we try to avoid the edges a little bit even if you want to lay some tape all along these edges here because the sandpaper will run through the edges that's kind of where the paint um, kind of thins out along the curves right it, it likes more flat big areas like this instead of curves so on the curves here on the very edges here um, the, that's where the paint's usually the thinnest, so you got to be really careful with that. But I'm going to go ahead, we're going to wet sand the whole thing, and then I'll come back. Mystic cuts that I use. I think this stuff works really great. I use their white pad 
their gray pad with their Wizards Mystic cut. And then I use their Mystic Nano Wax right, with their blue pad. And that'll give us the nice slick wax at the end and the ultimate shine and, and just all the protection and stuff that we need here. So that's kind of what I'm going to be going through. Um, I'm going to be using my DeWalt buffer here. Um, to get it all done. Um, it has a six inch pad. These are all six inch pads here. Um, we're gonna go through, as always, I like to keep panel by panel, move one way, you know, not a zigzag, I forget what the, you know, more like an S, you know, back and forth. Just like you're mowing your lawn, and then do it the other way, like an S, all the way back and forth. Gonna kind of go over it uh, with the white pad, wipe it all down, come back, and do the gray pad, wipe it all down, Make sure we get it really clean, really cleaned off. Um, you don't want to let any of the stuff actually dry on the paint because it'll leave marks. Um, so make sure you clean it off really good. Bunch of microfiber cloth towels here uh, to get the job done <clears throat> as well. And after we clean off all the rubbing compound, this Mystic Cut compound, we'll come in with the Nano Wax and the Blue Pad and finish her up and get her all nice and waxed up and looking shiny. So. Nothing to it but to do it, but I'll show you guys what it looks like after the white pad and after the gray pad. And then we'll go ahead and hit with the blue pad. And yeah, so let's check it out. Oh yeah, before I move on to I'll leave links to all this stuff uh, down below. So if you want to try it out, um, you can go ahead and do that. But if you're just looking for some good quality products. Um, I know for a fact these pads here, I've used them quite a few times. And they're the Mystic uh, or the Wizards pads, um, and they they hold up really good. The wall buffer, I've used it a whole bunch for a lot of projects now, and this thing is still works really great. And yeah, well, microfiber towels, just find the ones you can find. These are the ones that they sell at the local paint shop. And yeah, all the links will be down below. So if you're interested, go ahead and get yourself one. guys so as you can see I finished up with the white pad and it's starting to get the reflections and you can see the window reflecting even though it's a glooming day today and you can start seeing that um, it's easier to tell the difference here on the roof right so you can really tell it's shining now and you can see the reflections of the top up there and that's just with the first pad um, we're gonna go back Go ahead and hit it with the gray pad now and then I'll show you guys what that looks like so again just the white pad in itself it's really shiny you can see me there hey how's it going um, so yeah let's hit it with the gray pad and we'll come back and check it out once more Alright guys, 
as you can see it's really really shiny now and the reflections look you can see the you can actually see the skin tone on my hand and like my face um, and even with the flake and stuff you could see my reflection pretty good you can see the reflection of the paintings uh, shining through and honestly this is uh this is probably pretty good to leave it like this um, but I would always recommend throwing wax or some kind of protectant and in this case uh, we're also going to be using the blue pad to apply the wax and that'll increase these uh see these reflections see my smile eee! you know it'll uh, increase those even more so there's the glass there's the ah see so it's it's pretty close and uh, you know it looks really good it's really smooth really shiny so yeah let's just go ahead and hit it with the blue pad um, and this uh, mystic nano wax blue pad Myst mystic nano wax slick wax and go over the whole car one more time I'm gonna make sure to wipe it down um, before I do any of the wax I'm gonna make sure to get all of the rubbing compound off so I'm just gonna go ahead uh, with some nice clean rags uh, not the same rags that I've been using but nice clean ones and we're gonna go ahead and wipe it all down make sure I got all the the compound off of there um, before we apply the wax so here we go <laughs> there we go we got it all buffed out it's really super shiny reflections are crazy like look at you can really see everything Whew, boy look at you can see the reflections of the plastic on the roof here and last but not least if I come over here now just a little bit more clear obviously the metallic and stuff makes it hard to see it's a lot better to easier to see them in the white and the white you know it just doesn't give reflections as good this car was black like see if I come here to the black uh, where am I there am I so anyway we got it all buffed out it's really super shiny and super slick uh, so one thing you'll notice is when you do that the wax you know um, the whole surface gets like super slick really nice and like nothing can stick to it it kind of feels like a Teflon pan or something so here I'm just gonna take a clean another clean rag and I mean a microfiber towel not a rag and we're gonna go ahead and wipe it all completely off uh, I can I could go ahead and then take this tape off we can clean the windows Put it back together and put all the lights and everything back on the wheels and yeah it's pretty much done so i'm just gonna go ahead and clean her off and then we'll get the money shot but for that we'll be in the next video so thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys liked that video on how to apply and you know get the ultimate shine um, and that's kind of the process we used here on this Camaro. Look at the reflections of the paintings. That is crazy good. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later, and thanks for watching.